Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. Never before has this House listened to an address like the one given yesterday by President Zelensky. And so I want to tell the House that working with our friends and allies across the free world, we will be doing even more in the coming days to protect the people of Ukraine. And Mr Speaker, my right honourable friend, the Defence Secretary, will be setting out more details for the House later on. Mr Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. In addition to my duties in this House, I shall have further such meetings later today. The typical energy bill is going up by £700 next month, and that's because of pressures before Russia invaded Ukraine. The Chancellor's solution? A forced £200 loan for every household, paid back in mandatory instalments over five years. The big gamble behind that policy was that energy costs would drop quickly after a short spike. That bet now looks certain to fail. When will the Prime Minister force the Chancellor into a U-turn? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, my Royal Friend, the Chancellor has set out plans to help families with energy costs, with unprecedented measures to abate, uh, abate council tax by, uh, by £150, Mr Speaker, in addition uh, to all the other schemes uh, that we are putting forward. And I, I can tell the House that, uh, yes, he's absolutely right. Uh, that we need to meet uh, the long-term impacts of the spike in, uh, in energy prices, and that's why I will be setting out an energy independence plan uh, for this country, Mr Speaker, in the course uh, of the next few days uh, to ensure that we undo some of the damage of previous decisions taken, uh, not least by the Labour government, to invest in, uh, not to in, not to, not to invest in nuclear, uh, Mr Speaker, and so, and so that we... So that, we prepare, so that we prepare our people uh, for the long term and with sustainable, cost-efficient energy supply. Yes, Mr Speaker, I don't think the Prime Minister understands the mess he's in. Working families are facing a £700 spike in April. They won't even receive their £200 loan from the Chancellor until October. The wholesale price of oil and gas is now ballooning. So, by October... When the loan finally comes in, household bills are set to shoot up by another £1,000. It's a total mess. So I ask again, when is the Prime Minister going to force the Chancellor to U-turn? Yeah. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, if he's asking for the Chancellor to U-turn on the support that we're giving uh, to families and, and households, uh, I, I, I think that he, I think that he is... Uh, I, I think that he is absolutely out of his mind. Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are going to, we are going to continue uh, to give people support throughout this difficult period, as we did throughout the coronavirus epidemic, Mr Speaker, uh, with unprecedented levels of, of support. We have a £200 discount on bills, £150 a non-repayable uh, reduction in uh, council tax, and £144 million extra to help councils support vulnerable families uh, with their energy bills. Uh, uh, altogether, Mr Speaker, there is a £20 billion package of financial help that we are giving the British people, and we will continue to do more. I think a U-turn, Mr Speaker, is the last thing we want. Yeah. <laughs> Mr Speaker, we'll see how long that position lasts. Uh, let, me try and, let me try and help the Prime Minister. Let me try and help the Prime Minister by coming at it from a different angle. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, North Sea oil and gas companies were making bumper profits. BP made £9.5 billion. Shell made £14 billion. In their own words, more money than they know what to do with. Since then, the international price of oil and gas has skyrocketed, and so will their profits. When will the Prime Minister admit he's got this badly wrong, put a windfall tax on those super profits and use the money to cut household energy bills? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, the, the, the net result of that would simply be to see the oil companies uh, put their prices up yet higher, uh, Mr Speaker. And, Mr Speaker, make it more difficult for them to do what we need them to do, and which I think, by the way, Mr Speaker, they are doing very responsibly at the moment, and that is divesting from dependence on Russian oil and gas.